and we'll just go through some of these presets and see, see kind of what happens. So each one of these presets is actually a preset um, collection of variable states up here, which has you can see the resulting pattern down here and the resulting uh, playhead. Carrier, but then we have some movement in between each positive and negative signal because of this sawtooth wave in our modulator, and it's sort of going up and down um, slowly over time. It's amplitude because of the triangle oscillator on this amplitude oscillator here. Uh, if I spare that up, being like a quicker up and down pattern here, just make this bit quicker, faster. So you can see com combining these three oscillators gives us some fairly uh, complex shapes. Which is now another thing I will mention um, is that this is getting updated at the end of each grain that's playing. I can change that speed um, with our grain size here, so it only updates the grain pattern when a new grain is um, required. So you can get some pretty complex uh, audio visual grain stuff going on there. Um, the position, master position, the start frame is still um, controlled by this slider. So I, if I find a pattern that I like, um, like something like this, it's, re it's reading from this part of the buffer it looks like, um, I can just have that read from the start of the buffer by just changing this. And then we're keeping that same pattern, but we're reading from a different part of the buffer. Grain reordering patterns in Cortex.
Thank <laughs> you.